I'm going to be ranking Man City's brand new signings and I'm going to see who I think will flop and who will be a success. And I do want to say you might not agree, you might think these players are superb or I think they're terrible, but it's all my opinion. You don't have to agree, but this is how I feel about these players. First up, we have our huge, huge signing, Josko Gavadio. I think with Gavadio, it will take a while for him to get going. It's a whole new league, whole new country he's in. It's going to take a while to adapt, like many players have had to do. Well, I see. But I think this is huge. We have paid over £100 million for him, so there is a lot of expectation for Gvadil to perform straight away. He hasn't performed straight away to like a world class level, but he has been there. He has been solid, and I think this will be a 10 out of 10 signing. I don't see how we can't be a 10 out of 10 signing. Gvadil will be here for long term uh, to partnership with Diaz for many, many years. Hopefully bringing a lot of trophies along the way. Maybe even some trophies for Croatia that he's tried to do. Next up, Mateo Kovacic. So we're already a couple of games into the current season. And from what I've seen, he's exceptional. Of course, he's got experience in the Premier League. Played for Chelsea. I think he joined in 2017. And he's been there for some time. He's won the Champions League. He's won so much with Chelsea. And he's got a lot of experience he can bring to this team. He's really settled in well, made a good relationships with players. Honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't think there's a better player to sign than him. And for, I think, 20 or 25 million we bought him for, that's perfect, honestly. What a steal. And it is boring, but it's a 10 out of 10 signing. You can't get better than that. The next signing is Mateus Nunes. Nunes Nunez, I don't know how you say his name, to be honest. Now, with this signing, I'm very two-sided. On one hand, you've got a quality player who can deliver exceptional passes, long range, he's perfect. But on the other hand, he's not got the best mentality. He's known for having a childlike mentality and going for rush challenges when they're not needed. It is something Pep will have to learn to control. However, decent player, I'll give him myself a 7 out of 10. Our fourth and final signing, Jeremy Doku. I feel like with the right time and development, this signing could be huge. Because Doku is actually one of the best dribblers in Europe. Better dribbling stats than Vinicius Jr. as well. I think Doku was the perfect Maris replacement. And I'm going to give him a solid 8 out of 10 in rating. And I think this will be a huge, huge signing. And in the future, this duo will take over the world. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you maybe agree with my ratings. You might not agree with them at all. But, uh, okay, these are my ratings.